Hello everyone, my name is Anna from Tip Top Sewing and today I'm going to share with you my latest fabric haul and it's going to be quite a big one, well not really a big one but it's everything I've got uh, during uh, May and probably even April. I'll start with uh, this viscose and I've got it from Minerva Crafts and it's going to be my next project for Minerva Craft Blog and Network and it's a really nice, really thin fabric, it's perfect for the summer and it has some checks as you can see, so obviously I'll have to match them, but I don't think it will be a huge deal because it's going to be quite easy. And um, I'm going to use this Batric uh, 6485 pattern. It's a very nice 40 style dress and I hope this project is going to turn out really nicely. Next one is this medium weight viscose jersey and I've also got it from Mineral Crafts and I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use it for a polo shirt for my husband and I've already use, used this exact fabric but in a different color in mint green and I'll leave a link uh, in the description down below so you can check it and it was a really beautiful fabric to work with and it's quite a soft and comfortable one to wear so I'm going to make a new exactly the same polo shirt and the color isn't just a random orange color it's to match our favorite cat Next fabric I've got lately is, unfortunately I can only show a small piece because I've already cut it and it's an Italian, um, not suiting, sorry, shirt in cotton and it's an amazing quality, it's a really nice shirt in fabric, it's not too thin, not too thick, it's just perfect, uh, perfect weight for the purpose. Um, the only surprise I've got was that the stripes are not, not um, vertical, so what it means is that the uh, grain line is here and as you can see uh, those stripes they go in a different way to the kind of more traditional print, at least in my opinion more traditional. But it wasn't a big deal so all I had to do just to match every single stripe and but just in general this fabric is really beautiful and the quality is really nice. Next fabric is also going to be used for Mineral Craft Logo Network post and it's a very beautiful uh, dark berry color wool and it's 100% wool, 100% wool season fabric. Oh no, sorry, it's not, it's 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 a blend. So I'm going to, uh, once again, leave in the description like the full detail part of fabric. So it's a very thin one, so it's not like a winter fabric or something like that, it's just a all season one. So I'm going to use it for a simplicity dress, like a pencil dress uh, with some pleats or darts here at the neckline. I'll try to find the pattern and leave the link to it and I'm going to use a lining and that's going to be the lining and I know it's not a matching color but it's not going to be seen so it's fine and it still has quite cute polka dots on it. Next fabric is the one I'm extremely excited about and it's a cotton lawn and it's a, an absolutely amazing beautiful peach color and I just love absolutely everything about it. It has amazingly beautiful flowers, it has a really beautiful background, the quality of the fabric is absolutely amazing, it's really nice and silky just like how the lawn should be and it, it's, it's just amazing and I'm still not 100% sure what pattern I'm going to use but um, I have to, to, to choose from and it's both Patrick vintage patterns and it's absolutely amazing in my opinion, it's very very beautiful and it's quite a pricey one but I believe it's 100% worth it, it's really really nice and I'm also going to use it for uh, Mineral Craft Blocker Network. And obviously because it's a cotton lawn, I've got to use some kind of lining because this fabric is not as thick as, for example, poplin. So uh, I'm thinking of using this one and it looks like a regular uh, cotton lawn. It's also lawn, but it's, I would say, even thinner. Uh, it's like a blush color. It's quite nice one, but it has a really beautiful uh, border at the end of one side. And I think it looks quite nice and I'm going to obviously put it at the bottom of the dress uh, where the skirt ends. And it was, uh, the beauty of this fabric is that it was extremely cheap. It was like, I think 2.5 pounds a meter, something like that. So it's really, really cheap and it's obviously on sale, but it's quite nice. Like you can't really tell that it's uh, some kind of a cheap fabric. It's still a nice quality. Uh, you can obviously see some threads here at the back of this. Um, Water print, but it's not a big deal, especially if you use it for a lining. It's quite a thin one, so you can't really use it on its own, I believe, but uh, it's still a really nice fabric and it matches that beautiful cotton one. And the last fabric is another extremely exciting one, and it's from Liberty, and it's one of their 
uh, lilac prints and when I saw it I thought my god it's so amazingly beautiful and I wanted to wait a bit and audit a bit later because uh, I didn't really have a project in mind so I thought well I can just audit it one day but then I realized that every time I check it uh, they get less and less color options so because there were some uh, red background green I think or something like that and I saw that they started having less and less on the official liberty side so I thought well I've got to order it before it just disappears and looks like that well I wouldn't be able to get it later so I've got this navy blue one or royal blue and it's extremely beautiful and obviously once again it's cotton lawn and the quality is amazing it's very silky very beautiful and I don't have a project I still don't have a project in mind so I've got no idea when I'm going to use it but hopefully during this summer but it's not a must because while well, it's such a beautiful fabric I really want to wait and see and uh, pick the right project that will uh, complement the fabric and wouldn't take away too much from it because for example if you have uh, too many plates or darts or uh, for example it will be a very complicated design with lots of um, panels for example for bodies or something so I really want something simple something that will complement it as much as possible so that's it for today if you'd like to see how I'm working on this project you can follow me on Instagram at tiptopsewing don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos let me know if you have any ideas of what pattern I can use for my Liberty fabric and I'll see you next time bye